Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button if you guys are fans of the content being posted onto this channel to always be in the loop with more content similar to this and be sure to hit the video up with a like if you're enjoying the content and with that being said, let's begin. So with Godzilla vs Kong almost here scheduled to be released in just about a few weeks, there seems to be additional leaks, spoilers and lots of rumors going around involving the concept of Mecha Godzilla and the overall finale that is going to be involving Godzilla and Kong battling against Mecha Godzilla but this may come as a very controversial event as courtesy of course of high flyers tag team on their channel it looks like they have reported on something very interesting that i do want to give you guys my overall thoughts on as well as the previous rumors and spoilers that were going around just about a month ago that are now all but basically confirmed in setting up the stages for mg versus godzilla and kong so according to high flyers tag teams as source which again i need you guys to take with a grain of salt because this could end up being true or this could end up proving to be absolute nonsense, but it looks as though Mecha Godzilla is going to act on its own. Of course, there are heavy implications suggesting that Mecha Godzilla is going to operate based off of King Ghidorah's DNA and King Ghidorah's brain being used as sort of like an operational site to get Mecha Godzilla going, but the controversial part doesn't necessarily come with the way Mecha Godzilla operates or the way Mecha Godzilla handles Kong and Godzilla, only because we understand that Mecha Godzilla is going to be used rockets he is able to extend his arms in grabbing the opposition which assumingly could be either their arms or their neck we also now know that mecha godzilla is going to have his own variation of the atomic breath but also interestingly enough it looks as though mecha godzilla's armor and his body is made out of a specific metal that is only found within the hollow earth and this metal is said to be impenetrable it's supposed to be one of the toughest metals known to man and this is something very very difficult for anybody to acquire but apex was able to acquire this from the hollow earth so that's number one number two it looks as though mecha godzilla when he ends up fighting kong and godzilla one on one he's going to demolish them so there is nothing that kong and godzilla are going to do from a 1v1 standpoint that's going to give them any leverage in this fight against mecha godzilla however there are implications and rumors going around that before mecha godzilla ends up destroying and killing off kong it looks as though the humans that are inside the main control room of where mecha godzilla is being operated from it looks as though one of the characters are going to go out of their way in spilling alcohol in the control room that's going to cause mecha godzilla to basically malfunction and slow down in giving godzilla and kong the opportunity to basically finish him off because we know at the very end that neither godzilla or kong basically kill each other but instead they kill the opposition which is mecha godzilla so if this rumored leak ends up being true and one of the main reasons why mecha godzilla slows down is because of alcohol being spilled in the control room then that is a huge 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 cop out only because it's well established that mecha godzilla is going to be very difficult to defeat and one may argue from I guess you could say a power scaling standpoint that Mecha Godzilla alone faced off against a fully charged Kong and Godzilla will still slap them, but for there to be some sort of malfunction that causes him to kind of slow down, I think is very asinine and I think it's very lazy writing on the standpoint of having to introduce Mecha Godzilla as being this rogue entity that not only takes down both Kong and Godzilla at the same time, but also goes out of its way to destroy the military and the entire city as an end result only for later to have its entire functionality basically go haywire all because alcohol is being spilled at the control room i think that in and of itself could be a huge problem if you want to look at this objectively but we also know that mecha godzilla is going to be now composed of several different elements those elements being again rumored metal and resources used from the hollow earth and also remnants of king Ghidorah, which is why godzilla is going around destroying these apex facilities only because he is sensing the presence of king Ghidorah, which again makes sense but when looking at how mecha godzilla is introduced at first he's controllable he's able to be operational only for minutes later for him to lose all sense of consciousness and acting on its own 
and having his brain be rewired to where either King Ghidorah is now controlling this or for him to just grow consciousness of its own only to later have alcohol be spilled in the control room for him to slow down I think is a little too much but Mecha Godzilla, however is going to have several different skill sets and abilities that he is going to use against both Kong and Godzilla such as one of them being rockets that are going to be attached to his elbow and his arms which are going to increase the velocity of when he actually hits these kaiju that creates more force behind the punch itself so very similar to Pacific Rim in a way if you guys remember when Gypsy Danger and all the other Jaegers were able to do the same thing it looks like Mecha Godzilla is going to have rockets assumingly also on his feet perhaps maybe on his back that's going to allow all of his hits to have more force behind them only because they're backed up by rockets so another one of the big rumors are going to be the ability of Mecha Godzilla being able to absorb the atomic breath and kind of convert that into his own variation of the atomic breath and shooting that right back at Godzilla so whether or not this proves to be true is a big problem for someone like Godzilla only because how are you supposed to shoot one of your most powerful attacks at something when all it really does is absorb the energy and the amount of power being put into that blast in redirecting that right back at you so that's going to be a pretty cool thing the way mecha godzilla is said to approach the situation is really cool as well because at first he kind of seems as though he is being controlled until he just loses all sight of what's going on behind the scenes with people having to take control of it so he ends up formulating a consciousness which again is rumored to be that of Ghidorah's and he goes on an absolute rampage by destroying everything so I hope that the overall destruction level is high too and I would love to see Mecha Godzilla display feats of abnormal strength by either picking up Kong or picking up Godzilla and throwing them you know through the city that would be absolutely insane to see how this mechanical kaiju is able to do things to these normal monsters that one can't really do themselves. The only time we've seen Godzilla get picked up and then hoisted right back down was with Ghidorah, so I would love to see a monster like Mecha Godzilla take advantage by picking him up and slamming him down. That would be really cool, but the overall premise here is that everything is going to be centered around Mecha Godzilla towards the end until Godzilla and Kong both take their leave. Now, what's also interesting is there's going to be a scene somewhere in Hong Kong where, again, this is a rumor, but we also have a TV spot to back this up, where Godzilla is shown shooting directly down into the city, and what he's shooting down into is one of the Apex facilities, right? And it's well established that that's why he's there, and as he goes on to rock the entire city, the force behind his atomic breath is so powerful that it literally creates a massive hole that leads into the hollow earth so because of this it is rumored that kong is going to find the opening created by godzilla to meet him in this city to fight him at the end of the movie so again one of the main points of this movie is going to be establishing that they kind of need kong as a leeway into getting into the hollow earth where i understand that a lot of people wanted to see the bigger variations of the skull crawlers which the skull crawlers were said not to have that big of a kind of role in this movie versus how we've seen on kong skull island but nonetheless we are going to see them and various other monsters in this movie so one of the things that kind of baffles me is the premise of what the other monsters are doing and there's no indication to suggest that this movie is going to shed light on any of that and that kind of sucks because I guess the novelization is going to go in depth by explaining what happened with the other kaiju especially following the initial battle involving Godzilla versus King Ghidorah so that's what we know of as of right now based on the rumors the spoilers and the speculations going around about Godzilla versus Kong so in the comment section below what are your thoughts on Mecha Godzilla being an absolute beast in one hand I kind of like how it takes Godzilla, Kong, and the humans to take down Mecha Godzilla only because it kind of goes as far as to shed light on how strong he truly is. But at the same token, to spill, and again, the rumor is to spill alcohol in the control room that results Mecha Godzilla in going haywire and slowing down. I'm not sure how they're going to do that. I'm not sure what the definitive blow is going to be for Mecha Godzilla once, of course, Kong and Godzilla reestablish themselves and get back up. So again, I want to get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section below. Again, thank you all so much for watching. 
thank you all so much for your time. If you guys are stoked, ready, and excited for this movie, then be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up by slapping that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button, guys, if you guys are new to the channel. Tune back in for more. We're not that far off from the movie now, and I really can't wait to see how this movie develops, and more importantly, what's going to happen at the very end, if this is going to possibly set up more movies down the line, or essentially if this is going to be it. So we don't know, but we are going to find out very, very soon. So again, thank you all so much for watching. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody, and take care. Peace.